Welcome to the best postpartum tip that you're gonna hear all day. I don't actually care what day it is. It's literally the best tip you're gonna hear today. This one is all about designing your bathroom basket. And if you don't know what a bathroom basket is, then you might as well go, no, sorry, don't go anywhere, stick around. We're gonna design you a basket that you put in your bathroom that's gonna make your postpartum healing experience so much easier and so much more convenient. So let's go. Let's do it, let's build a bathroom basket. I'm gonna assemble this out here just because it's easier, but this basket eventually needs to make its way into the toilet because all of these products, they are geared towards making it clean and comfortable for you when you use the bathroom. So that's where it's gonna end up. And then this is not gonna be a long video at all. These are quite simple to build. I'm gonna have you in and out of here five minutes or less, and then you can get back to your brand new baby or that Mr. Beast video that you were watching, are you ready? whatever it may be. First thing you're gonna include in a bathroom basket is something to soak up that blood. So depending on what you are using, either you're using mesh panties and pads or you're using disposable underwear or diapers, whatever it is, you're gonna put it in there. So if you're doing mesh panties, grab lots of long, big overnight pads, put them in there. I went disposable underwear. These are always discreet, but there are lots of brands on the market. Whatever it may be, you're gonna tuck in a few of those, maybe five, six, seven of those in there. And then you're gonna wanna think about cleaning down below. So then you're gonna wanna put in your bathroom basket a Perry bottle. Now this is a fancy one from Freedom Mom. And if it comes out of the box looking like this, it's not defective or broken. You just gotta pop up the top and then you have your portable bidet and you spray it on your nethers like that. Or you can just put the one that you got from the hospital in there. Either way, you're gonna put a Perry bottle in there and you're gonna wanna have it filled with water if you can, because it's gonna be that much easier. Then you don't have to hobble out of the bathroom from your bathroom basket fill it up with water and then hobble back in, it's ready to go. You're also gonna to wanna to think about comfort. If you have tears or stitches or an episiotomy, you might wanna have some first aid type things in your bathroom basket so that it's at your fingertips ready to go. This is going to include something like a first aid spray. This stuff has numbing agents in it, so you can give your bit a spray with this before you get started and it feels so much better. You can also include here in your bathroom basket some tux pads. These have witch hazel in them. They're incredible for hemorrhoids, which you might have from, you know, pushing and having a baby. And they're also just really good on really sore perineal areas. So you're gonna put your first aid spray and your tux in there. While we're talking about witch hazel, if you wanted to include a pad liner for comfort, Freedom Mom makes one that covers your pad front to back for soothing goodness on your perineum, but also, Dude wipes, they make a witch hazel medicated wipe that you could also use in place of these because they are a little bit cheaper. And that again is just for comfort on your perineal area. Speaking of comfort, this is really important for the bathroom basket so that you don't have to run out and grab it if you are needing it right away. I always tuck in to my bathroom basket some medications, your Tylenols and your Advils. And then again, they are right at your fingertips if you are feeling the pain down below. If you wanted to get more fancy and spend even more time in the bathroom postpartum, in your bathroom basket, you can include things like scented hand lotion that makes you feel calm and relaxed. Give yourself a little mini mani or nice chapstick. And here's a good one. You should always put in your bathroom, either in your basket or just beside your basket, a water bottle. I say have water bottles everywhere postpartum because it's gonna remind you to drink and then it's right there. Plus, then you have water if you wanna take your Tylenols or your Advils. So it's all in one place, all in one stop. If you're watching this and you have a little human attached to your nips, you might wanna also think about putting in your lanolins or your nipple bombs to give your nipples a little uplift while you're in the bathroom. And that's basically it. You're gonna take this basket, you're gonna put it in the bathroom, and then you never have to think about what you need when you urgently have to pee, or worse, you have to do that dreaded number two postpartum. And bonus points, if you have a partner that wants to keep this stock for you, maybe add some treats, some Skittles or some brownies, then it's basically like you're staying at the Four Seasons. So if you enjoyed this tip and you enjoyed this type of content, go ahead and hit subscribe, check out this other video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.